Doctor, you did what? Oh no 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 no. Sorry Miss Lisa, we had to remove your wound to keep you alive. There were complications during the surgery as we evacuated the baby. So sorry Miss. Oh no 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 no, what have I done to myself? Oh no Lord, this is a dream. I will wake up from it. Oh Lord, how did I get to this point? How did I miss the mark? What pushed me to this stage? Lord, I am finished. You mean I don't have a womb anymore? I might as well die. What is the purpose of a woman that has no womb? What have I done to myself? I understand how you feel. But it is not the end of the world. You can still live a normal life and be what you want to be. Please don't throw away your hope in life. Doctor, you don't understand. The womb is gone. Let me allow you to rest Miss Lisa. I will come back to check up on you. Okay. Oh God, this lady is too young to pass through what life is throwing at her right now. Father please help her. Holy Spirit you are the comforter, please comfort her. I know you have plans for her life despite her ordeal, Lord help her. Thank you Holy Spirit for the word. Thank you Lord. Job 14, 7 to 9. Okay, I will go and see her shortly. Miss Lisa, how are you feeling now? Doctor, frankly speaking, I don't know. Are you a Christian? Doctor, I used to be. I am the cause of what is happening to me right now. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Doctor, it is a long story. I will tell you everything. Okay, I am listening. Kate, I am hungry. My food is finished. I told my mom yesterday, and she said there is no money for now. How am I going to survive? Don't worry about food. I have some at the hostel. We can share it together for now. The Lord will provide for us before it finishes. Amen. Thank you so much, Kate. You are welcome, my friend. Since you are hungry, let's go to the restaurant and eat. Restaurant. Do you have the money? Yes. My dad sent some money into my account last week. Big girl. Yes, you can say that again. After all, I am the only girl in the family. So, I deserve the love and attention. Wow. That's why you are a big girl. I am not as lucky as you. We are too, me and my brother. Dad left and never looked back. So, my mom is the one taking care of the two of us. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Don't worry, you will be okay. I guess so. Let's go. I am famished. Okay. Wow. The food is good. Yes, it is. But it is expensive. Yeah. Thanks, Kate. My pleasure. Hey, Lisa. I won't be around for the weekend. I will come in early in the morning on Monday. Are you going home to see your parents? No, I want to go and see a friend in the neighboring state. Oh, okay. I wish you safe journey. Thanks, Lisa. Hi Lisa, please come out we are late already. Remember we are choristers and we are supposed to be in church early. I am done. Kate, I will be out in a jiffy. So sorry Kate. I woke up late. It's alright. We are almost there. Yeah. Hi everyone. You are welcome to church today. Like I always say, God has something to say to you today, so listen and pay attention so you wouldn't miss your word today. Hallelujah. Let's listen to the message for today. Mrs. Hepsey is here to bless us with the word of God. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his goodness and mercies over us. Today, I will be admonishing us on the need to hold on to God. No matter what life throws your way, hold on to God. In a world filled with challenges, uncertainties, and temptations, it is easy to feel overwhelmed and lose our grip on faith. But I want to assure you that God is always there, ready to grasp our hands and guide us through the storms. Holding on to God means trusting in His promises, believing in His love, and seeking His guidance in all things. It means surrendering our worries and anxieties to Him and relying on His strength when we feel weak. In the midst of trials and tribulations, it can be difficult to maintain our faith. We may question God's plans, doubt His love, and feel tempted to give up. 
but I urge you, do not let go. Hold on to God, even when it seems impossible. Remember the story of Job, a man who endured unimaginable suffering. Despite losing his wealth, his family, and his health Job never lost faith in God. He declared, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him Job 13 15. Job's unwavering faith was rewarded in the end. God restored his losses and blessed him with even greater prosperity. This story teaches us that even in the darkest of times, God is with us, and he will never abandon us. In the New Testament we see Jesus' disciples struggling with fear and doubt during a storm. Jesus calmed their fears by reminding them of his power and presence. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? Mark 4:40. Just as Jesus calmed the storm for his disciples, he can also calm the storms in our lives. When we hold on to God, we place our trust in the one who can conquer any obstacle and overcome any challenge. So, dear brothers and sisters, hold on to God, don't let go. Let his love be your anchor, his word your guide, and his promises your strength. In him, you will find peace, hope, and everlasting joy. Amen. Today's sermon is for me. Honestly, I am getting tired of praying and not getting the desired results. You can say that again. I am blessed by the sermon too. I think we need to trust God more and hold on to him. Yeah, that's the spirit. Some of us are praying to God daily to provide for our needs while some ladies are spending money as if it grows on a tree. Who is spending money like that? It's my roommate, Olivia. It is either she has a rich boyfriend or rich parents. You can confirm from her to be sure. Yes, I will. She is not around at the moment. Okay. Welcome back, Olivia. How was your journey? It went very well. Thanks. How is your friend? Is he a male or female? He is a male and he is very rich. You have a rich boyfriend. Yes, of course. Where do you think I am getting the money I spend here? But you are not married to him. Where did you stay when you got there? You are funny Lisa. I stayed with him of course. What's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with it. You are not yet married to him. You can be tempted to sleep together which is a sin. Lisa, you are so funny. What do you think I go there to do? To go and sit and chat with him? No of course, whenever I go we sleep together. If not, there's no way he will give me the amount of money I need. But that's wrong Olivia. As a Christian you are not allowed to sleep with a man until you are married. That's the gospel according to Lisa. It is right there in the Bible. It's in Ephesians 5 3 but among you there must not be either sexual immorality, impurity of any kind, or greed, as these are not fitting for the saints. Thanks, but I choose to live my life on my own terms. Okay. God will help you. Amen. Kate, my roommate has a rich boyfriend. Is that so? Did you ask her? Yes, I did, and she confirmed it. No wonder she spends money anyhow. It is well. We are children of God. God is our provider so let's focus on him. Yes, you are right. Hello mom, what is it? Why are you crying? My brother is sick. You've taken him to the hospital and you need money for drugs and other hospital bills. Mom, I am not working here. I am a student. If he doesn't take the drugs, he wouldn't survive the sickness. Okay, Mom. How much are we looking at? What? $1,000. Mom, that's a lot of money. Okay, I will run around and see what I can get for you. Please stop crying. He will not die. Bye, Mom. Oh, God. This is trouble. Where will I get money from? Okay, let me wait for Olivia if she can give me some money for them. Thank God you are back Olivia. I need your help urgently. What is it? Please I need you to borrow me some money. My brother is sick at home and they need money for drugs and other hospital bills. It is very urgent. So you want to borrow money from someone who is living in sin. Have you no shame? Go and look for the money somewhere else. I am very sorry for judging you Olivia. Please forgive me. 
I will pay back the money as soon as possible. If not that your brother needs the money urgently, I wouldn't have given you a dime. How much do you need? I need one thousand dollars. Wow. Lisa, that's a lot of money. I don't have that amount in my account. So, how much can I get? Three hundred dollars. Okay, can I have it now? I will look for the rest. So when are you going to pay back? As soon as possible, I promise. Okay, send your account number to me. Thanks. Kate, I have been looking for you all over the school. Is everything okay? What is it? Things are not okay. My mom called from home that my brother is sick. She needs $1,000 for drugs and other hospital bills. What? That's a lot of money. Yes, I know. The drugs are quite expensive. Okay. I don't know if I can get some money from you. No. Lisa, I am so sorry. I don't have that kind of money. Why don't you ask your roommate to lend you the money? I have. She gave me $300. Wow, you still need $700 more. That's still a lot. What am I going to do? You need to trust God for the rest. Trust God. Okay. Thanks. Hi Leo, how are you doing? I am not really doing fine. My brother is sick, and he needs money for drugs and other hospital expenses. It's $1,000, but I have $300 currently. Oh, thank you. Can you send it to my account? No, you want to give it to me in person. Okay. We should meet at the hotel close to the school. Okay, thank you so much Leo. You're a lifesaver. Thanks. How are you doing Lisa? You look as beautiful as ever. I am fine Leo. You look good too. Good. Please come with me to my room upstairs. I thought you have it with you here. No, it's upstairs. Besides, you are my guest and I will like to entertain you. Okay, thanks. You are welcome, Lisa. Thanks, Leo. What would you like to eat or drink? I am okay Leo. I just need to get the money and go. Lisa. I like you, you know. I just want us to be together for few minutes. I will give you the money and even top it up for you if you allow me to be with you. I don't understand you Leo. You mean you want to sleep with me before giving me the money? Yes, Lisa. This is an opportunity for me to come close to you. I still like you Lisa. Please. Leo, you are not a good friend. I am disappointed in you. Sorry Lisa, that's all I can do. Give me what I need and I will give you what you need and even more. Sorry Leo. I can't I am a born again child of God. If you can't help me without sleeping with me, then forget it. Okay, bye. Hello mom, how is he doing? The drugs are finished. I am trying to look for money here mom. It's very urgent now. Okay, mom. I will see what I can do. Oh God. What am I going to do now? How am I going to raise the money? Maybe I should go back to Leo. After all he is my childhood friend. I don't have any other option. Let me call him. Hello Leo, I need to see you urgently. Okay, we should meet at the same hotel. Okay, I will be there. Hey Lisa, you want to see me? Yes, Leo. I am ready. But I am changing the terms. You need to increase the money so it will be enough for my needs. How much do you want? Two thousand dollars. What, Lisa? Two thousand dollars? That's outrageous. Well that's what I want. Okay, I will give you one thousand five hundred. Fair enough. Okay, great. Lisa, how far about the money you were looking for? Oh, the Lord provided. My brother is okay now. He is back home with my mom. Wow, did you see what I have been telling you? God is faithful, look at the way he provided for you. Yes, he is. Thank God. What's wrong with me these days? I am always nauseated. Come to think of it, my period is two weeks late. What's wrong? Oh, 
I hope it is not what I am thinking. I slept with Leo. No, 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 it can't be Lord. I need to get a pregnancy test kit right now. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how may I help you? Please, I need a pregnancy test kit. It's by your right. Okay, thanks. You are welcome. Oh ho ho ow 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 ow. I am finished. Pregnant. No, no, it can't be. What am I going to do right now? Who will I tell? I am in trouble. What have I done to myself? Lisa, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I am fine. Nothing is wrong with me. Thanks. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. I am fine. Okay. Hi Olivia, where is Lisa? I have not seen her since Monday. Hi Kate, she is in the room crying. Crying? What is wrong with her? I don't know. I asked her, but she wouldn't tell me. Okay, thanks. I will go and see her. Great. Bye. Bye. Hi Lisa, what's wrong with you? I have been calling your phone, it's switched off. What happened? Kate. I am finished. You can't be finished. What happened? Is it your mom or your brother? Oh, 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 it is me. I am in trouble. Oh, Lisa, stop crying and tell me what happened. Please stop. Kate, did you remember I told you that the Lord provided the money I was looking for? I lied. You lied? Why? I called one of my childhood male friends to ask him for help. He offered to help initially and I went to him to get the money, only for him to tell me that he wants to sleep with me first before giving me the money. Being a believer, I rejected his offer and returned back home. But my mom wouldn't allow me to rest. I had to succumb to his demands. Now, I don't know how it happened, I am pregnant. Pregnant? How? Oh God have mercy. What am I going to do now, Kate? Wow, Lisa. Why will you go and sleep with a friend for money? You don't understand, Kate. I had no options. My brother was dying. The drugs I bought were not enough for him to survive. I needed money, he was the only option available for me. What are you saying, Kate? What happened to trusting in God? You are a born-again child of God for crying out loud. Have you called the guy to inform him? No, I haven't. Call him and tell him about the pregnancy. For your information, abortion is a no-no. But Kate, I am in school. I cannot afford to have a baby now. But you can afford to sleep with a friend. Kate, please stop. That's the truth. You can't have an abortion. Let him take responsibility for the pregnancy. But Kate, where will I stay? I can't stay in the school with the pregnancy. One step at a time. Talk to the guy first and let's hear his response. Okay, thanks. Hi Leo, something just came up. We need to see. Okay, we can meet at the restaurant close to the school. Okay, bye. Hi Leo, how are you doing? I am fine, thanks. You? I am not fine, Leo. What's wrong? Leo the first am, I am. Speak, Lisa, I have things to do. Leo, I am pregnant. Pregnant, for who? For you, of course. But we only met once, Lisa. How did it happen? I don't know, Leo. What are we going to do? What do you want? I want to keep it, Leo. I have sinned against God already. I don't want to add another one to it. Okay, so what is going to happen to your school? Have you thought about it? I will put my school on hold for now. When I deliver the baby, I can continue with school. Okay, that's fine by me. I will support you and take care of you and the baby. Thanks, Leo. But I have another problem. Yes, what is the problem? I need somewhere to stay. I can't stay in the school, and I don't want to go back home. Wow, hmm, okay, you can come and stay with me till you deliver the baby. Are you sure about that? I can just rent a place to stay. No, the expenses will be too much for me. My house is a bit big and we can stay there together. Okay, Leo. 
Thanks. You are welcome. So Lisa, how far with the discussion with your friend? Thanks Kate. It went well. I told him I will like to keep the baby and he agreed. He said I can come and stay with him till I deliver the baby. That's cool. At least you took the right step this time around. So, what will happen to your studies? I will write a letter to the school to defer my studies for a year at least. That's good news Lisa. May the Lord be with you and help you through the pregnancy. Amen. Thanks my friend. I will keep you posted. Okay. Please take care of yourself and the baby. I will. Bye. Bye. Hi Lisa. I can't see my breakfast on the table. I am so sorry Leo. I woke up tired. I will go into the kitchen right away and get you something to eat. At what time Lisa? I am already late for work. You need to be useful around here. If you are going to stay here then you need to get to work. I don't want to hear anything about the pregnancy not allowing you to do house chores. Pregnancy is not a disease. I am sorry Leo. Please forgive me. <laughs> Leo. I need some money to buy groceries. But I gave you some money for groceries not too long ago. Yes, it is finished. Finished. How many of us are eating in this house? We are three Leo. Who is the third person? I can't see him or her. Leo, I am pregnant, and I need to eat for two. Please you need to learn to manage food in this house. I can't be spending money on food like this when I am not feeding an elephant. Okay, Leo. Thanks. I will give you the money tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Don't you have any work to do in the kitchen? I have finished all my work. Then go and sleep. I am not feeling sleepy. Why are you pushing me away, Leo? Pushing you away? I am not pushing you away. I just like to sit alone here. But I am here now. So, I can share it with you. No, Lisa, it's not as if we are married. You are just here for some time. Don't get used to staying here. I thought you liked me, Leo. Yeah, I used to. But not anymore. We are just friends. Okay, Leo. Please, tomorrow is my antenatal. I need some money. Why do you like collecting money from me like this? Leo, having a child comes with responsibility. The responsibility you caused. Look, I am tired of having you in my space. I am spending more than I planned. If you hadn't come to me looking for money we won't be here today. You should have helped me without asking for favors in return. I don't have money for any antenatal. Leo, this is not fair. Yes, I know. I am off to work. Leo, I need money for groceries. You promised to give me the money, but you didn't. I need to eat. I don't have money. I am tired of spending so much on you. Maybe you need to look for a job too. I will do that when I put to bed. But right now I need to eat. It is your responsibility, and you are going to stand up to it. And if I don't? Then you go nowhere. Why did you bring me here when you know you are not capable of taking care of me? You pushed me, stupid lady. I will show you today. Doctor, that is my story. Now, I don't have a womb anymore. What a life. Lisa, I don't want you to lose hope. As I went back to my office, I prayed for you. The Holy Spirit gave me a word for you. It is in Job 14, 7 to 9 for there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth boughs like a plant. I don't know how God will do it, but he will fix this for you. Just hold on to him. But first, you have to ask for God's forgiveness and mercy over your life. Are you ready to do it? Doctor, I have sinned against God, will he forgive me? Yes, he will. Remember the story of the prodigal son. It's in the book of Luke 15 11 to 32. He collected his inheritance from the father and wasted it on riotous living. When everything finished and he was suffering, he remembered his father and came back home. He asked for forgiveness and the father forgave him. 
The Bible said in Luke 15 22 But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Did you see the response of his father? As long as you are ready to tell God you are sorry, he is ready to take you back. He is still your heavenly father you know. Wow. Doctor, thank you so much. I am ready to do it. Okay, go on and tell God how sorry you were and ask for his forgiveness. Then, I will pray for you. Lord in the name of Jesus, I am sorry for all my sins Lord. I got carried away with money. I fell into sin because of money. Lord, I am sorry. Will you forgive me Lord and cleanse me with your precious blood? Lord please accept me as your daughter today. I also rededicate my life to you Lord. Help me from now on. In Jesus name. Amen. Lord, thank you for your daughter that has acknowledged her sins and asked for your forgiveness. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord because by the virtue of your blood shed for the remission of our sins, she is forgiven in the name of Jesus. Father I ask for grace for her to follow and serve you in Jesus name. Thank you Lord for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you so much, Doctor. You are welcome. By the way, my name is Kirk. Okay, Dr. Kirk. You should be discharged in the next two or three days. Then, you can face life again. Hmm. Hello, Dr. Kirk. I am doing well. I hope you are fine too. Okay. You want us to see. All right. We can meet at the restaurant by the supermarket. Okay, thank you. Have a lovely day. Hi Lisa, how are you doing? I am fine, Dr. Kirk. Great, I can see that. Thanks. How far with your school? I am planning to look for a job and work for about a year. I will accumulate the salary and go back to school. Don't worry about your school fees. I will take care of it. That's why I called for this meeting. Wow. Thank you so much. So, it is time to go back to school. I will also settle your feeding and accommodation fees. I am so so grateful Dr. Kirk. Thank you so much. But you need to promise me something. What is that doctor? That you will focus on your studies and also attend church services in the school so you can grow spiritually too. Yes, I will. I promise. Okay, great. Hi Lisa, how are you doing today? I am fine Ethan. Lisa, I like you a lot. I have been asking for your hand in marriage, but you wouldn't agree. Don't you like me? Ethan, it's not you, but me. I like you to be candid, but it just can't work out. You keep saying it can't work. Please tell me what the problem is. For all I know, you are single, so why don't you want to get married? There are issues I don't want to discuss, so let's leave it at that. Tell me what it is. Whatever the problem is, I promise to stick with you. Are you sure you can keep to that promise? Yes, Lisa, I promise. Okay, Ethan. Let's talk over lunch today. Okay, Lisa, thanks. Okay. So, what's the problem, Lisa? <laughs> While I was in school, I made a mistake and I got pregnant. Along the line, I had a confrontation with the guy I got pregnant for, and it led to a fight. During the fight I fell, and if affected the baby. I was sent to the hospital and they had to evacuate the baby due to the level of injury caused by the fall. In the process there were complications and they removed the womb to save my life. So, I can't have children of my own. That is why I am rejecting your proposal. I can't have babies. Oh wow, so sorry to hear about that. You see, I am the only son my parents have and they are already pestering me to get married so I can have babies. I am sorry, I won't be able to marry you. But Ethan, you promised to stick with me whatever the problem is. So sorry, Lisa, this problem is bigger than me. Now, I understand why you keep turning my proposal down. So sorry Lisa, I believe God will give you your own husband. Okay. 
Lord, I got you have forgiven my sins. Why am I still facing the consequences? Lord I have said that I was sorry, and you gave me a word through Kirk. You said in Job 14 8-9 that I will bud again, and bring forth fruits. Lord, I believe there is nothing you cannot do. Please take away this shame from my life. Give me a man after your heart, Lord, and bless us with children. Lord, I need your help. You are the helper of the helpless. Lord, give me a home and bless me with children. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, I have feelings for Lisa. Is she the one? But then, even if she is the one, can I marry her? If I marry her, how do we have children? I am the one that removed her womb when I encountered complications during the surgery. I cut it out. So, Lord, how will she have children without a womb? Yes, I remembered you gave me a scripture for her in the book of Job 14, 7 to 9. It is a promise to restore her back totally. But Lord, how will this word be fulfilled when there is no womb? Lord have your way in regards to this marriage issue. Wow, it's Lisa calling. Hi Lisa, how are you doing today? Are you crying? What is it? You want to see me? I am not in the office today. You can meet me at the restaurant we went to the last time. Okay, see you then. What is wrong with Lisa? Why does she want to see me? Okay, let me go and see her. Hi Lisa, why were you crying on the phone? Dr. Kirk, will I ever get a man to marry me? What kind of question is that? Of course you will get a man to marry you. Why do you ask? Is there a problem? Doctor, one of my colleagues at the office has been pestering me for marriage. I always say no, each time he came up with the idea. But then, I got tired and I decided to tell him the reason why I cannot marry him. Okay. I told him that I don't have a womb, and as such I cannot give him children. As soon as he heard that, he declined and said he is no longer interested in the marriage proposal. Then, he left. It dawned on me that I may never get a man to marry me. Uh oh 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 oh. Hey Lisa, common, don't let it hurt you. I know God will settle you and you will have as many children as you want. Do you remember the scripture I shared with you at the hospital? Yes, I do. Okay, it is job 14. 7 to 9 for there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth boughs like a plant. The Lord promised that you will bring forth fruits again. That means it is not yet over for you. You will have as many children as you need. I want you to please hold on to this word. It will come to pass in your life. You will see. Okay, Dr. Kirk thanks. Can you call me Kirk? We are friends now. Our relationship is no longer that of a doctor and a patient. We are friends. Thanks Kirk. So how is your work going? My work is going on fine. I am making tremendous progress. I am currently planning to write a professional examination. I am also getting projects as a side hustle. Wow, Lisa, I am happy for you. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Amen, thanks for being a good friend, Kirk. Glory be to God. Dear, you are not taking Kirk's marriage issue serious. The boy is growing old. He has a good job, a car and a house. But he's not just interested in marriage. I have tried several times to match him with Joan, but it is not working. Dear, please stop stressing yourself. The boy we are talking about here is about 30 years old. That means he is an adult and can make decisions for himself. What if he makes the wrong choice? Leave that to God. We brought him up in the ways of the Lord. He has grown spiritually too. So, I know the Holy Spirit will guide him to the right woman. Just pray for him and stop stressing yourself. Okay, but I still need to guide him. Are you the Holy Spirit? Let the Holy Spirit do his work in his life. I will still call him today. Whatever, just let the boy be. Hello mom, good to hear from you. So sorry, I have been busy at work. You know how it is. Yes mom, you want to see me. Okay, I will be at the house in the evening. Bye, mom.
Hello mom, how are you doing? I am fine sweetheart, how is work? Busy as usual. Okay, Kirk, I called you to remind you about the issue of marriage. Joan is still waiting for you. Mom, I have told you several times that I don't feel anything for Joan. It doesn't matter, Kirk. When you get married to her, you will learn to love her. Mom, I can't marry someone I don't love. I didn't have feelings for your father when we got married. Look at us today, we are in love. Mom, that is you. Things have changed. I want to marry someone I have feelings for. When will that be? It is in God's hand mom. I need a specific date. Mom, please. Don't worry, I will get married soon. The Holy Spirit is talking to me about it. Wow, is that so? Yes, mom. I hope the Holy Spirit will reveal Joan to you. Mom, please don't start. Where is dad? He is in the living room. Okay. Hello dad, how are you doing? I am fine my doctor. How is work? It's fine, dad. You can't believe mom called me to come here this evening, only to discuss marriage issues. Son, you know your mom, she won't stop until you get married. I am actually working on it. The Holy Spirit is leading me to someone, but I am still praying about it. That's a good one son. May God direct your path. Amen. Thanks dad. Hi Lisa, how are you doing? Oh, great. Are you free on Saturday? Yes, okay. I will pick you up at the junction of your house at 9 a.m. I am taking you out. To where? Don't worry about that. I promise you will like the place. Okay. See you. Bye. Hey Kirk, how are you? I am cool and you? Fine. You are looking serious. What is it? I am okay. We have an important issue to discuss. Okay, what is it? Not now. I will tell you when we get to where we are going. Okay. This is a cool place. It's quiet here. So, what is it, Kirk? Lisa, I know our meeting was not a coincidence. God orchestrated it. Look at you today, you have grown to become a smart and a strong woman. Thanks, Kirk. You are part of my story. God used you to bring out the beauty in me, I cannot thank you enough Kirk. Thank God for his goodness. Lisa, I have been praying for a life partner for some time now. Recently, I started developing feelings for you. I spoke to the Holy Spirit and he told me to go ahead. Lisa, I love you. I want to marry you. Kirk. Marriage. Me. Why? Lisa, I love you. Kirk, you know my story. You are the one that operated on me. You cut out my womb to save my life. How can you say I should marry you? This is hard for me too, Lisa. I have prayed about it and the Holy Spirit reminded me of the scripture he gave to you at the hospital. He told me everything will be okay. What matters is that I love you. Do you love me? Kirk, recently, I have been thinking about you. I have been praying about it. The Holy Spirit told me you will come, but I did not believe it. Now, you are here. I love you too, Kirk. So, you knew I will come to propose to you. Yes, I know. I love you, Kirk. I love you more, my darling. We bless God. We need to start planning our wedding. When do you want us to get married? For me, if you agree, we will do it this month. I can't wait to have you in my life. Wow. Kirk. That's too soon. Let's have it in the next six months. We need time to pray and plan. Wow, Lisa, that's too far. Well, I can wait. Thank you for saying yes to me. Thank you for loving me, even though you know my story. I love you my darling. And I love you too. Hello mom. How are you doing? I am not fine, Kirk. Mom, you are not feeling fine and you did not tell me. I am not sick, Kirk. I said I am not fine. For how many months have you been married now? Oh 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 mom, you have started again. So, what's happening with you and your wife? She should be pregnant by now. Mom, stop stressing yourself. 
We will have babies when the time comes. I know. Please be fast about it. Okay, mom. How is mom? She is fine. She keeps asking me when we will get pregnant. Oh dear, what are we going to do? Do what we have been doing. Holding on to the word the Lord gave us. He will perform his word in our lives. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, 11 So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Don't worry, God will fulfill his word in our lives. Amen dear. Cheer up please. The Lord is at work. God cannot be working and we will be worried. No, we will rejoice because God is at work. Okay, dear. Sweetheart, I am going to work. Dear, I am not feeling well. What's wrong? Dear, I feel tired in the mornings. I don't have appetite and I sleep a lot. Is that so? Yes, dear. Please get dressed and come with me to the hospital. I need to run some tests on you. Okay, dear. Sorry, dear. What will you like to eat? Nothing. Maybe a glass of water. Okay, I will get it for you. Thanks. Sorry, dear. I will call a nurse. You will follow her so she can collect your blood sample. Then, you can go home. I will bring the test results and the drug if there is any when coming home. I need you to go and rest at home. But you must eat. Okay, I will take tea. Good. Hi Nurse Anne, this is my wife. Please go with her and take her blood sample. She is not feeling well. I am suspecting malaria or typhoid. Run the necessary tests and let me have the results. Okay, doctor. Are you done, sweetheart? Yes, I am. Okay, please go home and rest. I am sure it is malaria. I will get the drugs when coming home. You will be fine, okay? Thanks, dear. See you later. Okay, dear. Oh God, is this how you work? No, this can't be true. I cut the womb myself. What? No, no, this is a joke. God is this you? Wow. A hey, hey, dear get up. God has done it again. Unbelievable. What is it dear? Come and join me to dance to God first. Dear please tell me, what is it? Dear, your test results are out. Yes, what is it? Dear, I don't know how God did it. I am a doctor, yet I can't explain it. You are four months pregnant sweetheart. No, no no dear. Four months pregnant. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, 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 God. Yes, dear, God fulfilled his word. He did it for us. God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. The protocol breaker. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It was Chidenma E. Kyle that said in one of her songs, There is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdo. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works, mountain mover, my lover, on I am an MN ma, good person, doing good. Thank you, Lord. People of God, this is mind blowing. I don't know what to say here. This story touched me in a deep way. Whatever you are going through, get a word from God and hold on to it. If God said it, he will do it. The Bible says in Numbers 23 19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Your situation is temporary and the Lord will come through for you. This video is packed with lessons. Tell me what you learned in the comment section below.